a scorching heat wave currently tormenting Europe and the UK is pushing power systems to the edge and testing energy policies. Joining us now to discuss is David Hostert, head of economics and modeling at Bloomberg New Energy Finance. So David, when we look at the current heat wave, what is the likely impact of extreme weather events like it on energy asset operations? Yeah, it's, it's not just us who are burning up, it's also the power system, um, specifically the thermal fleet. So when we look at the power system, we're looking at the thermal generators, which is coal, gas, nuclear, and we're looking at renewables. And what's happening with uh, the thermal fleet is that the efficiency just goes down. If you have a gas plant that's running in this extreme heat, it's going to be less efficient. If you have a nuclear plant, you're going to have to shut it down because uh, nuclear plants need rivers to cool them, right? So if, as the water temperature rises, you can't cool nuclear plants and they shut down and we lose losing all that capacity and that means the grid is way thinner and in fact uh, we yesterday had a situation in the UK where there was a capacity market notice which means the system says hey we're in trouble we're stressing here there's not enough capacity to, to meet demand and what that means is that power prices are shooting through the roof. Power price is going through the roof. Uh, David, uh, good to speak to you. Uh, yeah, so reading about the impact that the heat has on, on the, the power grid and the power network, it seems that it's it's not just gas where you have a, an issue with the infrastructure getting too hot, but also some of the, the future sources of energy, such as nuclear and even solar, struggling with some of the heat, which seems interesting. And Matt and I were talking about air conditioning a moment ago and talking about, obviously, lower uptake of that in Europe. Is that something that you see changing? And, and, and if so, so is that going to be the answer? Is that going to be something that policymakers are happy with? Because that results in more energy use. It does, and um, AC is just another source of demand, right? So if you look at Spain, for example, at the moment, um, Spain has solar power, and solar power actually helps, um, as does wind. Um, but we're with the uprise of air conditioning, that you want to turn that up in the evening, right? When when you're we want to have cold mm. in your bedroom, and that's not when the sun shines. So solar generation and air conditioning use are misaligned, and that's a, another challenge that we need that flexibility to shift around. So in Spain today, gas burn, which you know is very expensive Russian gas at the moment, um, is up, and, and that's a problem. 